sitting here with Daniela Hupfeld and Daniela, your commercial director at Pierre Vacances Spain. Yes. Yes, and you've just been in a session together with Sergio Satori from Ruby Hotels. Yes. And you spoke about what areas in revenue management and pricing hoteliers need to be active right now. And what would you say, how would you summarize the key findings of the session and discussion for everyone that couldn't attend the session? I would say the key findings are the same as always, but they need to be a bit newly interpreted. By the end of the day, you need a strategy before you do anything. And I still see many hoteliers, and that includes my own company at times, running off without a strategy. Um, so you need to have a strategy, you need to know where you want to go, and need to, you need to know how you get there. And in this circle, it's pricing. And I find that there's a lot of pressure on hoteliers again on pricing. Uh, it's often from partners like OTAs, bad banks, but it's also from competitor hotels, from bigger chains that promote price slashing, I have to say. And it's for individual hoteliers extremely difficult to withhold to that pressure. And But we still need to try. Um, and I think there's no need to slash prices now, because if there's no demand, nobody on earth can create demand, even though that phrase gets abused quite a lot. Um, if there's demand, you can work on pricing. If there's no demand, if you, if you put your price on zero, there's still nobody coming. So we need to hold on to our prices, because we have costs now, increased costs in the hotel sector due to the pandemic. And we have a product that's worth its price, and we need to stand up for that. And then I have a second question. Um, there's a lot of discussions around bad banks, wholesalers, tour operators. You just mentioned them. What's your general take on them? Do you think they're an important part of a sustainable distribution strategy for a hotel company? Depends on what company you are and what mm -hmm. hotel you are. We had it in the session before as well. I think the pandemic also showed us who is a reliable and trustworthy partner and who might not be. Right. Unfortunately, the bigger they get, the less trustworthy they get as well. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, I would wish for that to be exactly the other way around. But it's, uh, it's important that we review our distribution strategy and that we see who was on our side, who helped us through this, or is still helping us through this because we're not gone through it by far now. So review your distribution partners and if they're not good for you and if they're not good for your business, you sometimes have to let them go. Not all at once if possible, but per a per you have to develop your strategy, who you want to work with, and who is not on your side, cannot be part of your strategy. Last question I have for you is, um, what's the two main things that keep you up at night with regards to your professional life or your daily Sorry, business? Sorry, nothing. Day? I always nothing. sleep incredibly well, and right? nothing that's, keeps yeah. me awake at night when it comes to business. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Um, I mean, that's best news. I'm happy to hear that. No, it is really like that, <laughs> but what, can I get upset about the pandemic? Okay. I right. can't change that. Right. Um, can I get upset about the financial situation, the political situation in, in each of our countries or on the whole wide world? I cannot. I do what I can during office hours, and I like my job, and I love this industry, but sorry, there is nothing that could keep me awake. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. very welcome. Thank you. Thank you.